Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, we're on board USS Hornet. But, believe it or not, we are not in the ship's bridge, despite the helm here. This is actually secondary con, which is all the way forward, just under the flight deck. So if you've ever looked at a more modern aircraft carrier, uh, like the Essex is on, you see a bunch of portholes right under the forward lip of the flight deck. I don't know if you're like me, but you always wondered, what the heck are those for? Uh, that is because in the uh, superstructure of the ship, you've got your main bridge, right? All the windows, uh, like you would expect to see in a bridge. Aircraft carrier superstructures, the island, is significantly smaller on a battleship, so you don't have a secondary con on the 08 level like you do on Battleship New Jersey. Um, but they've got this beautiful space right at the nose. Some aircraft carriers already were built with their primary con in that location because early aircraft carriers did not have islands oftentimes. Uh, so you can really see where you're going from up here. Um, so this ship and many others have a secondary con here. This space is the domain of the executive officer in general quarters. So the captain's up on the bridge and the exit's down here, and they're separated by about 400 feet and several decks. So one hit is unlikely to knock out the ship's whole chain of command. If something knocks that space out, control can be switched to here. There are also several other conning positions that uh, can go down in order. There is also a steering position in the torpedo workshop birthing compartment. It's very similar to the one that we saw on Salem that we weren't quite sure if it was a steering position or not in their damage control central that there was a pair of push buttons. Uh, so that confirms something that I wasn't sure of a year ago or, or so. Uh, also, if you go back into the chief's lounge, more or less directly above steering, there is a stanchion there that you can slot two cranks on and uh, a group of sailors can get on that, and if you turn that, the legend goes about a hundred times, you turn the rudder one degree. So it takes 3,500 turns to go from hard over back to center. God forbid you got to go all the way in the other direction. And uh, similarly, Salem has a, a crank like that too. On uh, th there's a link in the description below to the, the video we showed of the various steering positions on Salem where we were surprised that she had more redundancy than an Iowa-class battleship. Remember, New Jersey only has four. Uh, screw it. There, there's a link below to New Jersey's steering position video, too. Uh, that one's an old one. Uh, but that's not all, folks. There's also the trick wheel in after steering. So now it's got me wondering if ships with a single rudder, like Essex-class carriers or most American cruisers like Salem, had more steering positions, whereas ships with double rudders, like Iowa-class battleships, have fewer. Um, I'm not sure. We'll continue to investigate, and there will be more videos about steering in the future. So, let's look at this space. Uh, th this space is actually significantly larger than the actual bridge. So we've got... Uh, Little workbench over here. This is probably where they kept the log. You got the uh, the light. You've got a surface search radar repeater here, so you can see what's out there. Of course, you've got your bridge. We've got yeah, so we've got two uh, gyro compass repeaters here. We've got a single rudder angle indicator. Uh, Iowa class battleships have one gyroscope and two rudder angle indicators, and then we've got uh, our engine order telegraphs here. So I guess there's another way to steer your ship. Essex-class aircraft carriers have four propellers, so you can go uh, one direction with port and one direction with starboard and, and uh, steer that way, too. There's also allegedly a way that you can attach chains to the rudder, run them up on deck, and uh, put 300 men on the chain and brute force it. That one I can't 100% confirm, but that's certainly something that has existed. Famously, Constitution, in her battle with Java, had her rudder shot out 
and they sent the Marines down below to the tiller room to pull on ropes to manually maneuver the ship in that engagement. Slightly smaller scale, but it's something that exists. Uh, also, interestingly, you've got a collision alarm switch here on the helm console, whereas your other two alarms, your chemical and your GQ, are back here on the bulkhead. So some other stuff we have in this space, uh, you've got a massive amount of charts. These are more or less duplicates. There is a chart house up on the bridge where your primary con is. But this one's cool because the original charts are still in here. Uh, so th this was all left when the ship was decommissioned and turned into a museum. And then of course, you've got a chart table here and You've got your windows, and we, we are at the very bow of the ship. It would be loud when aircraft are launching, but otherwise, you've got a, a perfect view of where the ship is going. Not so great a view out your sides, but we've got the surface search radar for that. Some other interesting things up here, because we are at the bow of the ship, and Essex-class carriers famously can take water over the bow, leading to the hurricane-enclosed bow that we have on either side of this space, uh, there are windshield wiper controls for the windshields that would have been on these portholes. It seems like they've been removed on this ship. You've got your 21MC, so the XO can communicate, and uh, you've even got controls for the ship's whistle. Whistles? There's two controls. Uh, and then that stuff is also duplicated on this side as well. So, uh, all in all, this is a huge space. Look at all this open room. Uh, bigger than the bridge, any of the bridges on the battleships, bigger than the primary con. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not used to seeing this much open space in a ship, but uh, if one ship type has more space than a battleship, it's an aircraft carrier. Uh, whereas we've got about 1,600 rooms, aircraft carriers like the Essex class tend to have closer to 4,000. So, there's room for this. How many steering positions do you think are necessary for a warship? Why do you think single rudder ships have more than double rudder ships? Let us know in the comments section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals. For today's video, consider donating to support the ongoing restoration of USS Hornet Sea, Air, and Space Museum. There's a link in the description below uh, for their donate page. There's also a link to their social media page so you can follow the work that they're doing on board. You can support Battleship New Jersey by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.